subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today we'll continue with the chapter photosynthesis that is chemiosmotic hypothesis during chemiosmotic hypothesis atp synthesis occurs due to development of a proton gradient across the membrane now the membrane here is the thylakoid membrane a proton gradient is created between stroma and the lumen of thylakoid during non cyclic and cyclic photophosphorylation protons start accumulating in the lumen of thylakoid as a result the stroma has less protons as compared to the lumen of the thylakoid this chemiosmotic hypothesis was given by michel hence it is referred as Michel's chemiosmotic hypothesis for ATP formation. Now the causes of proton gradient are seen during non-cyclic and cyclic photophosphorylation. now in this this is a thylakoid mem thylakoid with this being the thylakoid membrane this is the thylakoid lumen while this is the stroma in non cyclic photophosphorylation both photosystem 2 and photosystem 1 are involved both get excited simultaneously with solar energy now near photosystem 2 splitting of water occurs due to which protons are formed these protons are released into the lumen of the thylakoid membrane this becoming the first reason for a proton gradient between the lumen and the stroma now when photosystem 2 gets excited it passes the electrons to plastoquinone which being a hydrogen acceptor takes protons from the stroma it separates the protons releasing them into the thylakoid and then allows the electrons to pass through the cytochrome complex finally to photosystem 1 now these release of protons into the thylakoid lumen by plastoquinone becomes the second reason for the proton gradient and during this the protons are taken from the stroma and are released into the thylakoid lumen now when photosystem 1 gets excited it releases two electrons to ferrodoxin this occurs towards the outer surface of the thylakoid membrane ferrodoxin then reduces nadp to nadph by the help of nadp reductase enzyme now when nadp is reduced to nadph the protons are taken from the stroma and this occurs towards the outer side of the thylakoid membrane that is in the stroma so this creates the third reason for the proton gradient so at three regions in non cyclic photophosphorylation proton gradient can be or is created in case of cyclic photophosphorylation where only photosystem 1 is involved now when photosystem 1 gets excited it passes the electrons to ferrodoxin from ferrodoxin the electrons are transferred to plastoquinone just like in non cyclic plastoquinone gets reduced by taking protons from the stroma it then separates the protons releasing them into the thylakoid and allows the electrons to pass through the cytochrome complex plastocyanin and then to photosystem 1 so this becomes the fourth reason for a proton gradient to be created so we can see that there are four reasons for the proton gradient to be created in non cyclic and cyclic photophosphorylation now the proton gradient created during non cyclic and cyclic photophosphorylation plays a very important role in the synthesis of atp as breakdown of this gradient causes release of energy and this gradient is broken 
by the movement of protons across the thylakoid membrane that is from the lumen to the stroma and this takes place with the help of an atpase complex present in the thylakoid membrane this atpase complex has two parts f0 f f1 f0 is a transmembrane channel or you can say a proton tunnel which lies in the thylakoid membrane this is the thylakoid membrane in which the proton tunnel or the f0 is embedded through facilitated diffusion the protons move from the proton tunnel through the proton tunnel from the lumen into the stroma now as the protons move through the proton tunnel a change in configuration takes place at the f1 part that shows atps activity due to which the atp synthetase enzyme gets activated synthesizing atp from adp and inorganic phosphate now this synthesis of atp from adp and inorganic phosphate due to movement of protons from the lumen of the thylakoid into the stroma is the chemiosmotic hypothesis for atp formation so for the chemiosmotic hypothesis so that atp is formed three things are important proton gradient that is to be present between the thylakoid lumen and the stroma proton pump through which the protons can move from the lumen into the stroma and atp is enzyme that can catalyze the synthesis of atp from adp and inorganic phosphate so during light reaction that is non cyclic and cyclic photophosphorylation atp and nadph are synthesized this atp and nadph are used to fix carbon dioxide during the dark reaction by calvin cycle that's all for today please do like comment and subscribe and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below thank you thank you for watching